and welcome to the 2016 Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Summer Collaboration. I want to first and foremost take a moment to say a very special thank you to Carlos Powell for allowing me to host this year's Summer Collaboration. Summer is one of my favorite seasons because as a teacher I am off for the summer. I am usually busy doing some other things like writing curricula and preparing for the next academic year but it's also an opportunity for me to enjoy my freshies, my aquatics, my citrus, my uplifting, reinvigorating, rejuvenating fragrances that I don't get an opportunity to wear when it's colder and harsher and more abrasive out there. So Carlos, I want to thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to really host a video dedicated to one of my favorite, it's definitely my favorite season. It's definitely my favorite season. So guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, I want to welcome you to this channel and I want to welcome all of the participants of this video. Thank you for making it what it is. Thank you for making the fragrance community what it is today. And this goes out to everyone, the reviewers and the subscribers alike. So I want to start things off by letting you guys know what fragrance I am wearing today. And this is a fragrance that I'm very passionate about. I absolutely love this house. I love this company. I discovered it a few years ago and I have not slowed down in terms of experimenting and wearing their scents. And the fragrance on the niche side is by Eau de Tali and it's called Aqua Decima. The name translates to the 10th water and that's because it's their 10th creation. This one was created by Alberto Morillas who also did the very popular Aqua di Gio by Giorgio Armani and this is a wonderful mojito type scent. It has the mint, it has the citrus, it has some other green grassy herbaceous notes. It's so raw and fresh and uplifting. Spectacular scent. And then I'm also going to go with one on the designer side and this is another staple for me. Every time I smell it I think of vacation why? Because I've worn it in the past when I've been on vacation. So I've commemorated those occasions with it. And uh, of course, this one is by one of my favorite perfumers. Not my favorite, but it's certainly one of the top dogs in the industry, Jean-Claude Elena. And this one by Hermes is called Un Jardin sur le Nil, which means a garden on the Nile. And just like this one, it's very sort of green and fresh and uplifting and rejuvenating. And it's a wonderful sort of herbaceous, tomato, viney, grassy, rooty, earthy, fresh type of a fragrance. If you haven't tried it, if you haven't tried either one of these, you really owe it to yourself to go out there and give it a shot. So that's it. That's enough for me. Thank you guys so much for uh, listening to my picks and appreciating the content that Carlos has offered. And I want to thank you once again, Carlos. And with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the next reviewer. What's up, YouTube? Cristo here, and I've got my picks for Carlos uh, Brooklyn Fragrance Lovers collaboration video. Uh, I've got two choices here. My first one, this is something I reviewed recently, called it an underrated gem for summer. This is the different company's Cell de Vetiver. Uh, it basically takes like a traditional classic barbershop fragrance with some geranium, some cedar, and some vetiver, and it mixes it up and puts in some salt and some cardamom. So it kind of takes something uh, classic and familiar, but then gives it like this really unique, interesting, different twist. So that's a great pick, especially if you're looking for something other than standard notes for summer. Second pick, I have to admit, I was quite late to the game on this one, but it has totally changed my summer fragrance outlook forever. This is Healy's Men Fresh. This was really hyped up a couple years ago in the fragrance community. Uh, I never paid much attention to it because I'm really not a mint kind of guy. Finally picked it up and I'm just like madly in love with it. I've worn it at least 10 times in the last month since I picked it up. It's a really simple uh, mint, lime, white cedar mixture, um, but it smells amazing and it cuts through the summer heat like nothing I can even think of. Um, so fantastic scent here. Make sure to check these out for summer. Thanks so much, Carlos, for having me in, and uh, see you again soon. Thank you, Carlos, for allowing me to participate in this summer uh, collaboration. My picks for the summer will be uh, Bal d'Afrique by Barreto. This is a beautiful honeyed white floral that dries down still with the honey tone with cedar and vetiver in the dry down. Um, this is a beautiful composition centered around Tahiti's note that gives that honey-like, hay-like a core throughout the wearing of the fragrance. Beautiful stuff. Next will be um, Ciel Men by Amouage. This is a soft, breezy, fresh, aromatic, fruity white floral that are centered around 
lily of the valley, plum, jasmine, and then the aromatic vibe coming from the nutmeg. This is beautiful. Chaotic opening, but the rest of the wearing is awesome. Uh, following will be Azra Indonesia by Rasasi. This is a beautiful take on black tea ginger laying on a bed of a, like a non-sweet, non-barnyard-like oud and then vetiver in the, in the, in the dry down. This is beautiful stuff. And then last but not least will be uh, an offering from Salvatore Ferragamo, the Tuscan Soul line called Punta Alla. This is a beautiful take on cedar vetiver uh, with fresh citruses and a non-conventional or abstract olive tree note. This reminds me of um, Aqua di Gio Essenza. Replace the salty note with the um, green olive note. A little bit salty and then that oily feel. This is just beautiful take, Italian take on a fresh um, summer set. Again, thank you for uh, allowing me to participate in this uh, summer collaboration video, Carlos. On to the next reviewer. Hey Carlos, thank you very much for the invite. I really do appreciate this. Love doing these collabs. So I got two fragrances here that I'm going to be wearing. So the first one is actually going to be Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. So it's a 2016 release. It's got a lot of lavender. It's got some aquatic notes, some citrus. Super, super fresh. I love these kinds of fragrances. Summertime fragrances, the best. And the second one I'm hoping to reach for the most is going to be from Ferrari and that is Bright Neroli. This has a lot of neroli, a lot of citrus. It's, apparently it's got some uh, some woods and some musk in the dry down, which I really don't get a lot. I just get a ton of neroli and a lot of citrus. This does get comparisons to Tom Ford and Neroli Portofino, include, including a, a scent I believe it's called 4711, which I haven't smelled, but this is just amazing. Unfortunately, it's not available in the US, but if you can pick it up on eBay for a good price, get your nose on it, get it. You're gonna love this one. Ferrari Bright Neroli and Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. On to the next guy. Hey everybody, this is Travis Zenovia Sense. Uh, thank you, Carlos, for including me in this summer collab video. Obviously, we don't have much time, and I do have three fragrances to show you guys today. Uh, my lovely daughter is actually going to be helping me here with these three. Hi. And basically, this is the way that it's going to go. I'm going to show you guys a cheapie, I'm going to show you a designer, and then I'm going to show you um, a niche. So, first one we have here is the cheapie. Everybody knows this juice. This would be, car uh, this would be Nautica Voyage. Uh, beautiful apple green note fragrance. Um, the next one is going to be the designer and this is Dior Homme um Cologne. This is the new version of it. Um, there was an older one but this smells nothing like it. This one smells closer to the original version of Dior Homme um Sport but it's different. It's not as strong. Beautiful light fragrance. Uh, citruses, grapefruit flower I believe but I get like actually grapefruit in this though I don't believe it's even listed in there wonderful fragrance from Dior. And the last one would be the Niche. This is 1861 Renaissance. Beautiful mojito citrus fragrance. Uh, mint citrus. It's beautiful. Uh, I also asked my daughter which one of these three was her favorite and instead she actually said one, two, and three. And which ones would they be? This one, this one, and this one. So guys, she likes the most inexpensive, the best, Nautica Voyage. Um, so again, money doesn't buy everything. Thanks again, Carlos, for including us in this, and on to the next reviewer. Bye. Bye. Brooklyn fragrance lover. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much, Carlos, for inviting me to this collaboration. Brooklyn fragrance lover, loving your channel, and uh, you bring so much to the community. So thank you. Thanks for this collaboration. Thanks for the invite. Summertime picks. Uh, this is just a few. Uh, there's so many that I love. I love freshies. I love this time of season. So. But here's a couple. I'm going to go with the one that I just received in my collection, Sauvage Ambroxan. This is awesome. Compliment getter. Great fragrance. Check it out. Creed, of course, you know I love the house. Arolfa. This is one of my, going to be one of my heavy hitters this year for summer. Uh, just Mediterranean Sea. I feel like I'm on a sailboat every time I wear it. It's just awesome fragrance. Raja, nobody does it better. He just, he brought bergamot. I mean, this is just a bergamot killer. It's a crazy note, but he also just it smoothens it out with this crazy quality that he does and just awesome fragrance. Very clean, crisp, fresh. This one, guys has shown one of our crazy greatest perfumers. I mean, just awesome, great talent, great nose. This is Eccentric 02. 
I know Molecule One is their big one, but for summertime, this is a beast. Awesome compliments. Another Ambroxan note is in here. It's got this craziness kind of going on with this, some amber. It kind of warms up a little bit. It's just a crazy scent, but people love this one on you and around you. Last but not least, Bergamano uh, Pastiano. I just did a review on this one. Excellent fragrance from Floris. I love this. You just get that fresh blast of bergamot in the opening. Uh, kind of calms down. It's got this nice vanilla dry down, but perfect for summer. I love this. Check this one out. Uh, but there's just a few I'll be wearing. So Carlos, thank you again so much. On to the next reviewer, and I can't wait to hear all of your guys' picks. Like I said, I love this. It's probably my favorite time to wear fragrances, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again. Hey, Brooklyn fragrance lovers. Hey, Carlos. Thanks for having me on this collaboration. Here are my five favorites for the summer. First off, it won't be a surprise, none other than Creed Aventus. What can I say? It is just a stunner in the warm weather. Second, um, another one by Creed, Virgin Island Water. The hotter the better. Beautiful scent. Um, by Surge Off. It's got a lot of talk on the groups lately. With good reason, this is Neo, beautiful bergamot fragrance, especially nice when it's hot outside. Another one by um, Surge of Mephisto. This is like Silver Mountain Water by Creed, but just done better. And then last but not least, I have a beautiful fragrance by Hermes, which I also adore to wear and I actually wore Probably most of all of these fragrances for the last couple of years. Um, and um, it is called Terre de Mes. This is the EDT. I bought this in 2013. And it looks like I'm almost halfway there. Which is not something that is easy for me to do. So thanks for listening guys. Check out my channel if you feel like uh, watching more reviews. And um, thanks again. See you soon. Bye. Hey YouTube. Jose with Cologne Addict with a quick video for the Carlo summer collaboration video. My pick, which is a new acquisition for me within the last month, been wearing easily once to twice a week now, definitely growing to be one of my favorite summer scents, and that's Bond Number no. 9's Scent of Peace. The notes for this one, the top notes are bergamot, pineapple, juniper berries. The mid notes are current notes, and the bottom notes are cedar and vetiver. So basically, in my opinion, what I get from Scent of Peace is pineapples, juniper berries with slight woods in the background. It's a fruity scent, um, but the two notes that jump out are the juniper berries and the pineapple. It's a crowd pleaser, gets great performance, easily lasts me 8 to 10 hours, and it smells nothing like Aventus. So that's my summer choice. Bond number nines, scent of peace. What's up, guys? Peace. This is Jeremy, and this is my scent of the summer. I'm talking about Jean Paul Gaultier Popeye or Fresh. This is sexy, minty bubble gum. It smells super sexy and super fresh. There's clary sage in the note breakdown, which is supposed to smell like sexy, manly sweat. I agree. Smells super sexy, got ridiculous amount of compliments. Off to the next reviewer. This is my thing right here, Jean Paul Gaultier, Popeye. What's going on guys? I'm E of Simply Put Sense and I want to thank you so much Carlos for allowing me to be a part of this compilation. So with that, I want to start you off with my three favorite fragrances that I'll be wearing really, really heavy this year in the summertime. Fragrance number one, Terre de Hermès Eau Très Fraîche. Bam absolutely beautiful guys one of the best fragrances for the summer in my opinion a man can purchase i just think there's very few designer fragrances that can even come close to this but my number two does come close to this galan Om lo boise guys this is quality juice i just love the way it smells it's refreshing it's crisp it's just gentlemanly it's beautiful and that number three scent is a fragrance for women guys and it is called sun by jill sander this is a perfect scent for the summer nights in my opinion beautiful beautiful suntan lotion smell absolutely beautiful so ironically i'll be wearing sun at night thank you so much carlos for letting me be a part of this i really appreciate it my friend and guys with that I'm E.
Hey guys, Peter here from the channel Fragrance View. Welcome to the Great Pyramids of Egypt. Uh, people that are familiar with my channel know that I find it hard to find good summer fragrances. I'm more of a winter fragrance kind of person. But on my travels I have picked up a couple and tested a couple that I have actually really enjoyed and I'm probably going to be buying. The first one I'd like to talk about was one that I've been wearing quite a bit on Easter Island a couple of weeks ago. Together with watching the palm tree swaying in the wind and the ocean rolling in, it just seemed to fit perfectly. It was really, really refreshing and juicy and it's called Pomelo Paradis by Italia Cologne. I think Italia Cologne probably have the best or the nicest citrus notes that I've tried. It's the note of pomelo which is kind of like pink grapefruit mixed with an amber base and it's really really nice in the summer. The performance maybe four to five hours it wasn't brilliant but it was just really really refreshing and I definitely enjoyed wearing it. Uh, the second would be a Prada fragrance called Prada Infusion Dome, at least that was its old name. They've changed the name, it's now called Iris Cedar or Iris Cedra and it essentially kind of just smells like a bar of soap but it's the nicest bar of soap that I've smelled in a fragrance. It's better or more appealing to me than something say like Mugula Cologne which is most people's reach for a soapy fragrance. I think this one is just smoother and has more I don't know, it has like a refined kind of more elegance to it that's just a little bit smarter and I think just works really well, although I wouldn't wear it in the high heat like Egypt. Personally I would rather wear Pomelo Paradis in Egypt. For Prada I would wear that at home in the UK somewhere. The red temperature gauge thing on my camera is flashing red to say it's too hot. It's one o'clock in the afternoon and it's over 100 degrees, so it is too hot. <laughs> Thank you for including me Carlos, I appreciate it and I will hand it to the next reviewer. Bye guys. Hi there everybody, it's Dan from the channel Mr Smelly1977. I'm really thrilled to be taking part in this collaboration video and the fragrance I wanted to feature today is Agua de Colonia Concentrada by the house of Alvarez Gomez from Spain. This is an eau de cologne fragrance with a really fantastic fresh opening of citrus. It opens with some of the most natural lemon and orange smells I've ever experienced in a fragrance and they're super refreshing and really well done. And we've got some notes of lavender and some other herbal and floral elements in this one with a little bit of a wood dry down. Performance is pretty good for an eau de cologne style fragrance and I think this is absolutely fantastic, blind by worthy for anyone who likes citrus scents uh, and it's also super cheap. You can buy this for sub designer prices pretty much around the world and uh, one of my favourite scents to wear in the daytime during the summer. Highly recommended to anyone who enjoys fresh citrus scents. And don't forget whatever we're doing in life, let's project. Thanks very much, bye bye. This time now, I want to uh, appreciate you guys for tuning into my channel again. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank uh, Carlos, Fragrance Brooklyn, Fragrance Brooklyn lover, uh, for inviting me into this collaboration of 2016. Um, what are we going to be wearing for the summertime? And um, I definitely got my two picks, uh, my major two picks, even though I'll be wearing another fragrance. But these two are the main two players in my uh, designer lineup. So uh, let's get right to it. This one right here needs no introduction. Uh, it's been getting a lot of talk recently and whatnot, but I have to give a special shout out to Max Forty who actually introduced me to this fragrance uh, some time ago last year. Uh, so thank you, Max, if you're watching. Uh, but anyhow, um, this one right here, if you like cedar, you like citrus, this is the, the fragrance for you, hands down, guaranteed. Okay, this is by the House of Artillier. Oh man. Citre Alice, this one right here is a gem. It, it, it's sweet, it's uh, woody. Um, this is gonna last you all day, I promise. Um, the next one and the last one um, we have is um, by the House of Lacoste. This one, oh man, mojito in a bottle, baby. Uh, you guys can agree to disagree, but essential, man. And pool weather right here. Come out the pool smelling like this. Ooh, sexy, sexy shit. That's uh, my two fragrances that I'll be wearing uh, for 2016. Uh, but I'm gonna pass it on to the next reviewer. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. There's your friend and reviewer, Real Cappuccino. Until next time, uh, 
Signing off. Peace. Gentlemen, my name is Michael. I'm another Fraghead. First off, we have Creed Virgin Island Water. This is coconut, lime, absolutely beautiful fragrance I'll be wearing. Next is Creed Aventus, the Smoky Pineapple King. It does not matter the batch variation. I have a bunch of them. I love every single one of them. Next, we have Falling Into the Sea by Imaginary Authors. This has lemon, grapefruit, warm sand, absolutely beautiful and there is nothing out there quite like this one if you have not tried falling into the sea yet make sure you get your nose on this next is a new house by dua fragrances this is ocean mist men now the thing i love about dua fragrances is every single fragrance by them is all natural handcrafted parfum extract concentration 50% oil concentration so it doesn't matter if it's a freshie it's going to be beast on you now ocean mist men has green leaves green apple smells like you just got out of the shower absolutely beautiful next is royal elixir by dua fragrances this fragrance has pineapple grapefruit clary sage and it's mixed so well it just blends beautifully try this one out if you like fruity fragrances and finally is the mobster by dua fragrances now there is not one single person that has tried this that i've heard of that did not like this it does lean towards cool weather seasonality but you know what i work indoors at 70 degrees where i am all year round whiskey tobacco dua fragrances the mobster you will remember that name 10 years from now i guarantee you get your nose on this one thanks so much for watching Hey, Carlos Brooklyn Fragrance Lover here. I hope you're enjoying the summer collapse so far. So, what will I be wearing this summer? You know, I love my Tom Fords, and there has to be a Tom Ford in the lineup. Neroli Portofino Forte, it's a great fragrance that just blooms on my skin in the heat. I love it. Fats Essential Curacao Bay, this is a beachy vibe in a bottle without the coconut and suntan lotion thing going on. I actually wore this at the beach two days ago when I stopped by my job before I came home and one of the kids in the basement said, you smell like the Bahamas, so there's that. Another one that I'll be wearing is Enmenegil Dozenia Aqua de Bergamotto, a simple bergamot fragrance, but real nice in the hot, hot summer. A line that I love, well, for the summer, but year round, but their citruses are especially nice to wear in the summer is Atelier Cologne. And this one right here, Bergamot Soleil, wonderful. It's bright, zesty, zingy, energizing. I just love it. Not the greatest longevity, but who cares? I just spray some more on. This is actually one of my go-to fragrances on my days off. So those are my choices and on to the next guy. Hey everyone, Max Forte with Carlos, the Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, doing this summer collab. Thank you so much for inviting me. Love to do these. So I'm going to give you guys three quick picks just to let you know what I'm going to be rocking this summer. This here is a hidden gem, so to speak. This is Solo by the House of Lovi. It's a Spanish fragrance house. What this is, it's basically like a Bergamot 22 meets Neroli Porofino with some added amber spices and vanilla bourbon. Really exotic, really nice. Don't sleep on this one. This is a hidden gem. Get it, you will not disappoint. Amazing fragrance to rock in the summertime. Next up, it's going to be a niche fragrance. This is by the house of Maite Perfumier Garnier. This is Bayana. What this is, it's like a tropical fizzy drink. You got coconut and you have a lot of, uh, you know, exotic tropical components. And then you get some rose in the middle with some amber to give this texture and dimension. What an amazing fragrance. For citrus, this fragrance lasts eight plus hours and you're gonna get a lot of compliments. Last but not least, I wanna give you guys a wild card, so to speak. This is brand new from the house of Azaro. This is Wanted. Real nice fragrance, very reminiscent of Invictus. However, they added tonka beans, which gave this more depth. It's longer lasting and it's a great compliment monster. Really nice for the warm days or even like dress your up nights or even casual, you can dress this up or dress it down. Check it out, Wanted by Zaro, my wild card. Thank you so much, Carlos, for putting this together. On with the next guy. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hi guys, it's Alex Romano. How's everyone doing? Thanks, Carlos, for letting me be a part of this summer video uh, and the previous ones as well. What will I be wearing this summer? Um, they're both tuberose fragrances I'm gonna go for this summer. Works really well in the heat, especially on my skin, I don't know about yours, but uh, the first one is Dusan by Diptyque. It's a gorgeous tuberose. It's quite unadulterated, quite simplistic. 
it's um, kind of a bit of a fresher version, not too unchanged from the original flower and just not too heavy basically, it's just it's so beautiful, it's quite simple, if you like tube rose it's a really safe bet but it really performs well, I have the, the Eau de Parfum version. And the other one is the infamous Carnal Flower by Frederick Mao. This is like the bolshier older sister to this one. This one showcases a lot more different facets of the tuberose flower. It's got the, a green element in it from eucalyptus. It's got a kind of a more warm tropical feel because um, it's got coconut in it as well. Um, and it's a bit of a beast, but it's just absolutely beautiful and works so well in summer. So nice, short and sweet there. I'll be going for a tuberose theme this summer. Uh, try them out if you haven't already. They're pretty popular already, though. Anyway, everyone have a great summer, and uh, it's Carlos, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, goodbye. Hey guys, Manny from the Cascade Scents Fragrance Station, here with some of my summer scents. The first one being this, it's Allure Homme Edition Blanche by the House of Chanel. Smells like a lemon meringue pie, and it just goes hard during the summer. Definitely a compliment getter, so why not rock this? The next one from the House of Anthropology, it's Los Angeles. She called, but he was unreachable. Yes, it's a women's scent, but to be honest, it smells super good and pretty unisex if you ask me. It's actually very reminiscent of a Creed smelling type scent, so I'm in love with it. The next scent being Melissa Imperial because it's super delicious. And the last one being Aventus by Creed. It's definitely a jack of all trades, so how can I not reach for this one? And that's about it for my time on Brooklyn Fragrance Lovers channel. Thank you again, Carlos, for having me on here. You guys have a safe and happy summer, and hopefully I see you guys soon. Take care. Hey everyone, Eugene here. I hope you're all well. I've had a couple of viewers ask me, what's your national background? And here you are, I'm repping my team colors. Croatia just upset Spain, set to face Portugal on Saturday, so I'm super excited about that. As far as my summer fragrance picks goes, for the last month or so, I've been studying nothing but the Hermescence line. I'm really enjoying them all. Uh, several of them are tugging at my heartstrings, specifically Santal Masoya, Iris Yukoi, Osmanthus Yunnan, Vetiver Tonka. But one that's truly captivated me and captured my heart is Rosie Ikebana. Um, Rosie Ikebana, a floral rose, opens up uh, perfect for summer. Fresh, citrusy, Elna's trademark, lemon, grapefruit, sour, zesty, zingy. And in the heart, you're, you're, you're left with a, a very soft, delicate, slightly powdery, slightly green rose note. Um, kind of done in this fresh, misty accord. And in the base, you're going to get this really sweet, fruity uh, rhubarb, maybe some raspberry, along with some vanilla and musks. Um, the common knock on the Hermescence collection is they're weak, they're not very complex, they're simple, you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, to anyone that's actually gotten uh, to spend time with this, you will know that these are complex cre uh, creatures. Um, are they fresh and light? Yeah. It just gives you a reason to spray more, which I'm all for. Uh, I get great performance with, uh, you know, several extra sprays. Um, Check it out, Rosie E. Cabana. Um, Carlos, thank you so much for inviting me onto your collaboration. I do appreciate it. To everyone else, we'll see you again. What's going on, guys? It's the Sci-Fi Boys doing. Thanks a lot for having me on this collaboration. It means an awful lot to me. As you can see, I'm having a lot of fun here. Salsa dancing. Typical Wednesday night. Love dancing, man. Anyway, so I have a lot of colognes that I'll be wearing this summer, but two in particular that I'm really looking forward to wearing 
this. One is Aqua Viva from the House of Prof. Mamrova, that's my scent of the night by the way. The second one is, and this fragrance has really caught on to me. This is from the House of Tom Ford, Private Blend, it's called Neroli Portofino Aqua. Loving both these fragrances, Neroli Portofino was my scent of the morning, this is my scent of the night, so those are the two ones that I'm looking forward to wearing. Damer, fragrance bro, you're up next, let's go. Hey everyone, David here with the Fragrance Bros. Thank you, Carlos, for doing this collaboration. So my first pick for summer is Atelier Cologne Pomelo Paradis. This is a beautiful grapefruit scent. I've talked a lot about this before. It doesn't last a whole long time on me, but it lasts long enough, and I love this scent. It's a great, great, perfect uh, grapefruit scent that's really tart and juicy and sweet and perfect. The next scent that I'm wearing a lot of this summer is Bergamot Soleil by Atelier Cologne. I love Atelier Cologne, if you can't already tell. <laughs> and I love this scent. This is obviously a bergamot scent, and it's a beautiful bergamot scent, one of the best. It's bergamot that's paired with oak moss. The oak moss is very distinctive, and it adds a lot of longevity to this fragrance. This lasts a long time on me, one of the longest of the Atelier Cologne line on me. It's a wonderful citrus scent that is bright, sunny, zesty, and sizzling. It is great for the summertime. So these are my scents for summer. Really love them. Uh, thank you again, Carlos, for doing this, and I'll pass it on to the next person. Bye. Guys, what is up? Wanted to do this really quick video for the Brooklyn Fragrance Lover summer collaboration. What I'm wearing this summer, three fragrances, three price points. Start off at that under, under $100 price point. This is Ambergris Showers from Rasasai. Beautiful fragrance, three notes. I really get out of this one, guys. It's galbanum, um, iris, and ambergris. To me, it smells like a wet stone. It's sort of green, it's fresh, but it's got a little bit of like an ozonic um, vibe to it, if that makes sense. But I think it's perfect for the summer, especially a nice out or just night out or just a really fresh day. And you can get this one for like $59 online. For that sort of $100, $150 price point, guys, check out Shelter Island by Bond Number no. 9. You guys know the house. Um, you know the deal with them. This one has black pepper, lemon, oud, and seaweed. It's a really different aquatic in that it has some oud in it. I haven't smelled much else like this. It gets me through an entire 12-hour day. And again, you guys can find this one now for like $100. So it's a really, really good buy. I also think it's a really different fragrance. I would definitely check this one out. And then at that over $150, $200, $250 price point, uh, one of my more recent uh, fragrances in my collection, this one is Albatross from House of Matriarch. I'm sure many of you guys already know House of Matriarch is the next house that I'll be doing a collaboration with to follow up on Max out i love albatross uh notes in this one are sea salt cork and birch uh, and this is a beautiful marine fragrance it's very atypical if you enjoy aqua by bulgari which is a sort of darker marine fragrance you'll love this one because it sort of does a little bit what that one does but at a much higher quality and i think you'll get much better performance out of this one it's totally unique christy michelle is a genius at what she does and i think these are three great fragrances at three different price points that i hope you'll all enjoy i'll see you again all really soon please check on my channel props to carlos one hi everybody 860 cologne here with my choices that i'll be wearing for summer this year first one is a designer it's by dunhill it's dunhill icon the house of dunhill seems to have new direction and this is a step in the right direction for me for sure very nice fragrance a little on the expensive side if you buy it at full retail but it can be had for a lot cheaper if you look around go check this one out very nice bottle great fragrance one that i'll open hopefully be wearing to rehearsals fresh crisp but does have a nice nice presence to it the other one is a niche fragrance that i just got my hands on and that's zirchoff Uden. really like this fragrance has the citrus and just enough of that masculine and refined oomph that I like. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you check those out and please check out my channel. I'll talk to you soon. What's going on guys? What's going on Carlitos? Thank you for adding me into this collaboration. Let's go straight to the point guys. I have two fragrances here, one niche and one designer. I just want to get something for everybody. 
and my first pick would be 1861 by Zerja or what they call it Renaissance right now this one is absolutely fantastic guys it's so fresh so soothing but it's fun in the same time it smells exactly like a virgin mojito without the added alcohol but unlike the other freshies out there this one lasts and projects forever and to my nose the mint and the zerjal snow now lemon and bergamot works tremendously well together please if you haven't smelt it yet check it out but you have to love mint for that my designer pick would be Mugler cologne this is another fantastic fragrance guys so clean so soapy so fresh i love to wear this specific fragrance especially after showers it gives me that extra oomph that i always look for and for the price you can't ask more from it it lasts on my skin around seven hours so i i can't complain about that especially from a freshie and it projects not bad either it's not a beast mode but it's around there another great one guys if you guys haven't smelled it please check it out and that's pretty much it guys thank you again carlitos for including me into this collaboration and to the next guy well folks that's the 2016 summer collaboration thanks so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed a big thank you to steven for hosting and thanks to all the guys for participating it was a lot of fun I hope you found some suggestions for your summer fragrance wary. We have one more. Take it out, Joey Cannoli. All right, let's make this interesting. So here we are. We got Aqua Di Gio, uh, 2016. Let me show what I'm about to do. Would you like to join me for this? Come here for a second. I'm doing a collab, only got a minute. Drink this. Why? Oh, say hi. Hi. Drink this. Why? Just down the whole thing. It's water.